DS18B20 digital thermometer and 16 by 2 LCD displays. A question came in about using the DS18B20 temperature sensor along with LCD displays, 16 by 2 line. I've used these all independently, but I thought I would do an all-inclusive video. I happened to have two slightly different 16 by 2 LCDs kicking around, so I thought I would hook one up with direct I.O. lines in parallel to the Arduino, and the other one through a PCF8574 GPIO expander using I squared C on the Arduino at the same time. I have an LCD contrast 10K pot for each of the displays. One display does not even have an LED backlight. The other does, but I'm not going to bother using either, so those are disconnected. The DS18B20 temperature sensor has a 4.7K pull-up to VCC, which I'm running the whole thing on 5 volts with an Arduino Uno and the one wire data is going to digital pin 2. So I'm reading in the temperature and since I have two displays I'm displaying temperature in degrees Celsius on one and temperature degrees Fahrenheit on the other. So I warmed it up by touching it and now it's cooling back down so if I heat it up again we can see that it is displaying the temperature. A part of the question was how to do this on an Arduino Mega. I don't have a Mega, but as far as I understand, it's the same basic intent as an Uno, just with obviously a different chip and more I.O. pins and peripherals, but it's still a 5 volt system, and we still have on the Mega the serial clock and data up here for I squared C, and then we have these digital pins 13 down to 0, same as the Uno. And so I'm using the serial clock and data and some of these digital pins. So I would expect if you choose the Mega as your board in Arduino environment and just compile the sketch for the Mega, maybe you can use the exact same pinouts and it'll work transferably like that. As a debug message, I'm also printing out the temperature, degrees Celsius, and Fahrenheit on the serial monitor just in case I'm having trouble with the displays. So there's two parts to this project, or three if we consider we're using two different LCD interfaces. So I thought I'd break it down very simply. There's two different little sketches here loaded, and all they do is write hello world on an LCD. The sketch here on the top uses the GPIO expander over I squared C to print hello world and the sketch on the bottom just uses direct pins to print hello world on the other LCD. So I'm going to upload this sketch for the I squared C expander. Now the serial monitor is not being used so this is blank. Now the temperature on the left is the direct pin connected LCD display and it is no longer being written to and updated so it's just holding its last temperature reading. So this is really off and the I squared C based expander says hello world and it's also not being updated anymore because all we did is write it once here in the setup and then we're just looping infinitely without doing anything further. So this is how simple it is to use an LCD display to write something on the screen. There's different libraries, but I'm using the HD44780, which I installed through the library manager. Later on, for the temperature sensor, while we're in this library manager, I also needed one wire to do the one wire bus and Dallas temperature for the DS18B20. To use the LCD with the I squared C GPIO expander, we need the wire library for I squared C and the LCD library. So we include this class for I squared C with the LCD, or if we're just going to use direct I.O. pins on Arduino, we include a different class. And then we just create an object called LCD, referencing this LCD driver that we can talk to in the sketch. So in our setup, we do LCD begin to initialize it with 16 by 2 characters, and then we can just use the LCD print command to write something, and that's as simple as it gets. So down here with the direct pin control instead of the IO expander we use that pin IO class. We define what Arduino pins we want all the control signals to be. We have a register select and enable and then four data bits 
to send out the data to the LCD itself. And we create the LCD object using the LCD driver, defining those pins that we are connecting to. And same thing, we initialize the LCD and we print to it. So using the LCD can be as simple as that. I will link down below to other LCD related content I've done as well as the DS18B20 temperature interface that I've done. So now I've uploaded the sketch separately for each LCD. This I squared C controlled one is just holding on to hello world. Then I uploaded the direct IO control version. It wrote it once in the setup. Now it's just looping infinitely and holding on to its last display. So I've closed those two sketches and now I've made a slightly bigger sketch, including the temperature sensor. And I just chose to work with the direct pin control LCD display to make it easier to go through for now. So I will upload this sketch and it should actually show the temperature on the LCD that has direct pin control and the I squared C is going to just keep saying hello world because we're not writing to it. So now we have the temperature on one display and make sure it's actually changing. So it is reading temperature. So at this point, let's take a look at the LCD itself. We have the 16 pins. One is toward the leftmost edge and 16 is part way through the board. And the ones that we are mostly interested in going to the Arduino, or to the GPIO expander, we have RS, which is register select. That controls whether we are accessing commands within the LCD driver, like move the cursor or things like that, or if we're actually doing data, like we want to display a character. Read and write is whether we're reading or writing from any registers. Enable enables the chip. And then we have eight data bits, but you can run it in four data bit mode where you would just send four out and then send the next four out. So you save on pins and that's part of what the driver will initialize with all the control when you power on and set up the LCD interface. It's all done behind the scenes and we are defaulting in four bit data mode. So we only need to define four data bits and then this register select, read, write and enable. Otherwise, we're giving this 5 volts and ground. If we want, we can control the contrast. And if we want to use any built-in backlights, we would use them here. And I've covered the PCF8574 project before. I'll link below. We have the I squared C coming from Arduino. And we choose our address for the expander. And then we have up to eight control lines. So we only need seven. Four of them will be data. And then there will be the register select, read, write, and enable. And of course, the DS18B20 one wire digital thermometer we've covered before, so I'll link below. But we basically have it hooked up in this mode where we have the three wires on that probe. One's going to ground, one's going to 5 volts, and one has a 4.7K pull up required, and it goes to the Arduino digital pin 2. And here's the schematic of what I have hooked up here. This top LCD is the one with direct control pins going straight to the Arduino. So these are the four data pins. And then we have the read, write and register select going here. And then the enable, I'm just keeping it enabled all the time. There's no reason I would need to disable it. And the contrast control is going to a 10K pot between ground and five volts. So I can adjust the pot and adjust the contrast. The one with the GPIO expander has two lines only to Arduino, serial clock and data I squared C coming over, and then the module gets five volts and ground. And then we just have our address and those seven control bits again. This time the enable is wired up. I could have probably just tied it to ground as well, but the library is set up to use it, so I just connected it up. So we have the four data, the three control lines, another contrast adjustment with another 10K pot, and 5 volts and ground, not using the backlight on either. One of them doesn't even have a backlight. The DS18B20 thermometer here has 5 volts and ground, and the data has a 4.7K pull up, and it goes to digital pin 2. And that's the whole thing. 
It's being powered over USB on the Uno. Coming back to this example sketch using just the one direct pin controlled unit and the temperature sensor, we start out the same way referencing the LCD library that we need to use for this method of control. Then we bring in the one wire and temperature libraries. We're using pin two for the thermometer data. We create a one wire object so that we can talk on the bus and we create a temperature sensor interface so that we can talk to the temperature sensor via this Dallas library. Since we're using the direct pins on the LCD, we create an LCD object so we can talk to it over those defined pins using the LCD library. We initialize the LCD again, it's a 16 by 2 line, and we initialize the temperature sensor with a begin and we're ready to use them. So we go in and we get a temperature sample and we store it in a degrees Celsius and in a degrees Fahrenheit variable. The Dallas library comes with a routine to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and then we're just showing it on that LCD. So to show degrees Celsius, we're using one of those commands to clear the LCD display. Then we show a temperature note. We show the temperature in degrees Celsius and we round it to one decimal place. So it says temp and it says 22.4. Then we want to write the degree symbol and C for Celsius. So this degree character is a built-in character in the LCD. Over here in the font map built into the LCD, it's kind of hard to tell here because it's actually a little box, not a circle, but this is the degree symbol we want to print out. So it's stored in a location where the most significant four bits, seven, six, five, and four, are gonna be one, one, zero, one, and then the least significant bits are gonna be one, 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 because that's where this is located in the map. One, one, zero, one, 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 converts over to decimal 223. So if we use this command here, we end up printing out the symbol that's in that location, which happens to be a degree symbol. To do degrees Fahrenheit, we already cleared the display, so we're starting on line one for Celsius. So to go down to line two, we set the cursor to the leftmost position on line one, next one down. We print the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit that we did up here, and then we print the degree symbol and F for Fahrenheit. We wait a second and we go and get the temperature all over again. So on the top line, we have temperature degrees Celsius. Then on the next line, degrees Fahrenheit, sampled once a second from the DS18B20 thermometer. So I'll close this example and upload this sketch. This one is building upon the previous one yet again, and there's a lot more comments in here. So all I'm doing is adding in the fact that we are also going to use the I2C GPIO expander LCD along with the direct pin controlled one. So I'm doing a few extra things as well. That's why I wanted to scale this back again instead of just diving into this. So we just uploaded the code and started and we're printing out the address of the sensor and the temperature. So now we're using both displays with degrees Celsius on the left and Fahrenheit on the right. So again, we have to create an LCD object to interface with the one on the I squared C bus. And we have to create another, I'm gonna call it LCD parallel, cause LCD is already taken, where we're using discrete pins on these particular defined pins. So now depending which LCD I wanna to talk to, I either refer to LCD or LCD parallel. Down in the setup, I'm using the serial monitor. I'm also turning on line wrapping. So in, it's not necessary for this sketch, but if I wanted to print out one long bunch of text and it's too wide for the display, it'll wrap it down and continue writing that text on the next line. So I'm setting up both those LCDs, initializing the thermometer as well. I go in and get the temperatures out of whatever's on the one wire bus and then I show the temperature on the LCDs. I just split those out into their own routines and then I wait half a second and go get the temperature again. So when I want to display the temperature, I call a routine and I dig out the temperature in degrees Celsius that came from that thermometer address when I went here to request the temperatures. So then I take that temperature reading in Celsius and I start printing it out on the LCDs. 
So on the parallel LCD, on the top we write temperature, and then we move down to the next line, and we write what the temperature reading was, rounding it to one decimal. We print the degree symbol and C for Celsius, and we print it on the serial monitor. For degrees Fahrenheit, same thing, except we're just printing to LCD instead of LCD parallel. We otherwise do the same thing, and that's it. So that's how we can integrate a digital thermometer with an LCD 16x2, either using direct parallel interface or I squared C over a GPIO expander. Everything here is conveniently running on just 5 volts, so if you're using a different 3.3 volt or such device, you may need to do some level shifting and such, but otherwise, that's the basics of using these devices.